Hi there, my name's Emily, and today we continue learning the group of perfect tenses. Now, I am sure you don't have a problem with present perfect, so let's make the next step and let's learn the past perfect tense. We know that the speaker uses an appropriate time to reflect how exactly he or she sees the action of the verb. By using the past perfect tense, the speaker wants to emphasise that an action happened before some moment in the past or before another action in the past. For example, he was very happy because he had won the lottery. Let's look at the actions described in this sentence. The man was happy in the past. This is past time because he won a lottery before. So it happened before he was happy in the past. In other words, the past perfect can be said as a pre-past time. Let's memorise the following. Number one, the common situations when past perfect tense is used. And number two, how the past perfect tense is formed. We use the past perfect tense in the following cases when it is important for the speaker to point out that the action finished before a certain moment in the past, but is connected with it. So, everyone had gone before he came home. I had finished my work by 5pm yesterday. Lucy had not met me when I was at the university. It is possible to use both specific time and event action to point the moment in the past. We use the past perfect tense in the following cases. When we talk about an action that started in the past and continued until a certain time in the past. So, I had studied English hard for one month before the exam. They did not want to hear about the sale of the house because they had owned it for over 20 years. Note here that we use past perfect tense to emphasise the fact of completeness of the action. But if we want to emphasise the fact of duration of the action, we should use past perfect continuous. Let's compare. I had studied English hard for one month. Focus on the completeness. The action study is over. I had been studying English hard for one month. Focus on duration of action. So the action can be finished or not. And pay attention to signal words. Past simple is used after words such as before, when, by the time. Before I came home, she cooked a dinner. He had done his homework by the time his parents came in. Now, past perfect is often used when the speaker explains the cause of the event in the past. The children were hungry because they had played football for five hours. I was not hungry. I had just had my dinner. The past perfect is also often used in indirect speech after the words said, told, asked, wondered and the like. She told me that she had not seen him. I explained to him that they had already gone. So there's just a few examples. Next, what we should memorise is how the past perfect tense is formed. It is easy. Positive sentence is formed upon the formula subject plus had plus verb in the third form, past participle, plus other.
had is used both for plural and singular. The students had prepared themselves for the exam. She noticed that she had lost the keys. He had had the car for five years before the accident. Now let's look at how question and negative sentence are formed. In questions, sentences, the auxiliary verb had is placed before the subject at the beginning. For example, had she completed the task? Had the boss asked him about that tool? The negative sentence contains the particle not after the had verb. The bus had not left before they came. I had not written the email by 5pm. You had not called me before I called you. So there's some examples. I would recommend you practice the past perfect tense by commenting on actions that were finished by the moment of time in the past. Here's some more examples. I had cleaned up the mess before they came. Had you spoken to Adam before he left? She had not arrived before the rain started. Why had she agreed to work for such a low salary? So there's just a few examples to help you. Now, please, please feel free to rewind this video as many times as you need in order to memorise when the past perfect tense is used. And also, please do use the book Usage of English Tenses to learn them in a simple and easy way. The book will help you to learn all about each of the English tenses. And finally, like always, let's remember our proverbs. They are very instructive. This one is make hay while the sun shines. And most importantly, we always finish with practice makes perfect. I look forward to seeing you all in the next session.